Okay. Here I am recording, and you can see in the background that the Oster is uh, it's on a jacking stand. I'll give you a quick look at the jacking stand. Right. The reason for the jacking stand is because I need to replace the bungees. So the bungees I put on about 18 months ago were unfortunately the wrong type. I, uh, I went with the guide that was on the, uh, on the LAS website, which as it turns out was wrong. After I replaced them, um, the International Oster Club sent out a list of bungees, thanks to Ron Neal, and uh, as you can see, I now need to change my bungees. So I have to say that these, uh, these bungees, the incorrect bungees that I put on, are uh, very easy to land on. I immediately stopped bouncing, well, almost stopped bouncing. I still manage to bounce occasionally, but <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, the soft bungees made it great for landings, but uh, yeah, they are a bit soft. If you do a heavy landing, they might bottom out on the uh, safety straps, and that's probably not uh, really what you want, is it? Anyway, um, you can see I've got a hydraulic engine hoist, and uh, the, uh, the hydraulic engine hoist is, is designed to both lift the old bungees off. I've already done one on the right hand side before I decided to video this. And uh, as you can see, it's all set up, ready to go. So I'm going to try recording the overhead operation with a GoPro and I might try and do a bit of a time lapse on the uh, on the phone. Unfortunately the GoPro audio was very poor quality so I'm going to try and explain what I'm doing while editing the different video clips. The bungee is removed with the help of a ratchet strap. I use both ends, the plain end usually threaded through the ratchet gets fed through the bungee and a knot is tied in the end of it. The loop tied in the ratchet strap is placed over the hook of a hydraulic engine hoist. The bungee is then lifted above the bobbin by the engine hoist. And when the bungee has been lifted sufficiently clear of the bobbin, the other end of the strap with the hook is used to lift the bungee around and clear of the bobbin. This way, delicate office worker hands are kept clear of anything that could damage them. And finally, the tension on the bungee is carefully released by lowering the engine hoist arm in a controlled manner. Next up is a time lapse of this operation. And that is what you get for being lazy. I'd hoped to be able to remove the bungees without moving the kick panel below the seats. Unfortunately, there's not enough clearance and I'll need to undo the top of the kick panel. Um, let's see how quickly I can do this. The kick panel can now be moved enough to allow the bungees to be removed from the front bobbin and pushed out of the bottom of the aircraft. There we go, old and new bungees. So the one at the bottom is a 9090, and the one at the top is a 1080 bungee. So the 1080 bungee is what's used for a J4, not a 9090. 
So if you've gone and had a look at the LAS Aero website and it said 9090 for a J2 or a J4, that's wrong. Use a 90, uh, sorry, don't use the 9090, use the 1080 bungees. When I uh, pulled the original bungees off this aircraft and replaced them with the 1990s, I actually had 1080 HDs on them. Um, and needless to say, I used to bounce the aircraft a fair bit. Anyway, next step, put two new bungees back onto the right hand side. Installing the new bungees is a reverse of the removal. Place the new bungees over the front bobbin and feed them out the bottom of the aircraft. Take care to ensure the wire safety loop is not caught under the bungees and the bungees are correctly placed one inside the other. The bungees are then pushed around the inner end and up behind the gear legs so they can be lifted into place on the rear bobbin with the engine hoist. The last time I used the engine hoist to install new bungees I had a friend helping. This time I'm solo and so part way through lifting the bungee into place I decide I need something to help ease the bungee over the edge of the bobbin so the cotton braid isn't damaged. Again, the hook on the end of the safety strap is used to ease the bungee over the side of the bobbin for finger safety. Right hand side bungees are on. Pull the kick panel forward. And uh, there you go. As you can see, the 1080 bungee is slightly fatter and they fill the available space on the bobbins far better. And I'll have a quick look underneath. Check that my safety strap is out of the way. Excellent. Oh, look at that. Putting greasy fingerprints all over the nice clean bungees. A couple of things that I've done differently this time. This is just a piece of polyurethane, I don't know, sheet. I actually used it as padding between the tail springs and the, um, and the fuselage when I did the tailwheel springs. So I guess it's sort of suspension type polyurethane. It's very high density, but it's it's somewhat flexible. Um, the last time we did it, because there was two of us, um, we didn't need to drag the uh, we didn't need to we 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 dragged the bungees around the bobbin, we didn't have to drag it across the sharp edges. This time, as you'll see, I used it just to ease that transition over the over the bobbin on the rear side. And uh, look at that, worked a treat. All right. In fitting the left side bungees, I'm showing only the time lapse. In part, because I didn't move the GoPro, and since I'm working through the left door, most of what was recorded is the back of my head. As you'll also see, there were hangar visitors, and the conversation is not related to changing bungees.
At this point, I'm messing about trying to pull the wire safety loop free where it was caught while lifting the bungee into place. With the new bungees fitted to both sides, it's time to refasten the kick panel, seat pans, and replace the seat cushions. I've been calling them bungees. They're also known as shock rings, shock cords, etc. Whatever you call them, they're a crucial component in the Oster undercarriage. The next step is to remove the jacking trestle that supported the fuselage while the bungees were removed. My jacking trestle was a cheap sawhorse placed in a wooden frame and diagonally braced with more ratchet straps to provide rigidity to the resultant trapezoid. Simple, cheap and expedient. I need to take a little care removing it from under the aircraft as, the jack, as I use jacks under the axles. One day I'll weld up something a little bit more professional. Now I could have simply cut the old bungees to remove them, but the process is so simple it took longer to jack the aircraft and put the trestle in place to support the fuselage than it does to remove and reinstall four bungees. Remember this was done after lunch working solo except for the hangar neighbours and friends coming in for a chat. And I still have time and, to, and daylight to pre-flight and test the new bungees. First take off on the new bungees. I, uh, I can feel the difference taxi. They're definitely a lot firmer, a lot less wallowy. Um, got a bit of a crosswind, not too strong. Maybe about, uh, I don't know, five, seven knots or so. Um, and uh, yeah, gonna be, uh, gonna be interesting landing on new bungees with a crosswind.
for watching. If you've got any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below. Thank <laughs> you.